All right, we're out here to try the first cut on the bandsaw mill. Um, just got a little eight foot long pine log standing in front of Grandpa and Buddy's old sawmill here. And I thought this is a great place to do the first cut. So I'm gonna start it up and give it the first cut. Well, uh, I'm done with my first cant. I made a mistake, <laughs> which I'll show later. But um, cut a couple one bys, one by fives. I was gonna make stickers out of them, uh, except for I see they got insect damage here. Basically, I just wanted to ruin my first few boards, so I have some crap that I was cutting. Um, so. I just have those pine poles right there. I'll probably end up just burning all those because of this insect damage here. But uh, yeah, so I was making this cut right here and heard a definite metal sound went through here and then heard another definite metal sound. And as you can see, my cut dove started diving way down. So I just shut it off and backed it out thought oh well there's some steel in here or something nope <laughs> I just forgot that I had these bolts here that I thought would be a great idea for stops uh, and then I've got some like shorter one inch bolts that I was going to use when I was cutting down and I was going to switch them out well I just got excited and decided to cut them right off so fun fun hey at least I know it'll cut through two half inch steel bolts before it is done done i mean it, it dove after this first one and kind of flattened out then started to dive again and after i went through that second one it just did a nose dive right down but i'm calling this a success uh before i cut 
anymore. I think I'm gonna make my blade guards right here. I've got to do something different with the tensioner because um, I have to just hold it down the whole time. And I think I'm also going to try to stiffen up the top here. So I'll probably put a brace going diagonally like this. Maybe a bigger one right here. Same thing on this side. Um, just to try to keep the whole thing. Because the whole thing just kind of flexes as you push it. Um, like as you start to push on this side. You can see it. It takes a second for the other side to catch up. And I've got a... It's not a huge deal, but you can see there's a slight wavy pattern right here. Every once in a while it gets smooth. And then like right here, it's a little wavy. And I think that's just from the uh, flexing in the carriage. So other than that, boy, she cuts. I feel good. So here we go. Let's get back to work and we'll make some other stuff here.